Hey everyone, this is Vasquez for Avix Gaming, and I have been playing a lot of 7 Days to Die. 7 Days to Die is a very ambitious zombie post-apocalypse simulator that has a lot happening. Hunger, thirst, and stamina management, looting, crafting, building, FPS, and RPG elements. All of this can become a bit overwhelming, so this video is a survival guide to help you get started. You start the game naked and with very few resources. Your first quest is a kind of tutorial. It's meant to teach you the basics of the game. Let's start. Punch grass to gather plant fibers. Pick a little extra since you will need it for other crafts. Also, if you see this plant, gather some. It's cotton. Then enter the crafting menu. The bedroll will be highlighted. Select Craft. The crafting menu is organized by type. If you are searching for something in particular, you can type it here. Selecting an item will tell you what materials you need to make it and how many you have. All crafts take time. You can have up to 4 items crafting in the queue. Now, move the bedroll to your tool belt. Exit the menu and with it selected, place it on the ground. The bedroll becomes your respawn point and prevents zombies from spawning near it. Don't worry, you can always pick it up. Now, you are tasked to make a stone axe. Be on the lookout for this bush. You can gather wood from it. The best way to get two stone at this point is picking it up from the ground. If you cannot find any, you can always punch a big stone. Craft the stone axe. You can harvest material a lot faster with it. I would recommend chopping down a tree and gather some more stone for future projects. Also, items degrade with use, so having extra stone will let you repair your stone tools and weapons. Now craft yourself some clothes in the craft menu. If you gather cotton plants, craft some clothes. I would advise you to keep some extra cloth in your inventory. The plant fiber shirt and pants are highlighted. And then craft a bandana for a little more protection against the elements. Go ahead and craft yourself a hood, some gloves and shoes. Select each item and press wear. You can see your character on this tab, and also your current status. Now, craft a wooden club. If you gather extra wood, this will be quick. If you gather extra plant fiber, stone and wood, you can craft the stone spear, stone sledgehammer, and stone shovel. Now let's make bow and arrows. Look for bird nests. They can contain feathers and eggs. If you hit the bird nest with your axe, you will get extra feathers. Now craft your bow and arrows. And now we are almost done. Craft a wooden frame. Place it on the ground. And with the axe equipped, use the secondary button. This will upgrade the cube. Now let's craft a campfire. Place it. And just like that, you have finished the first quest. Enjoy your four skill points. Getting food. While you will find food by looting, hunting is a reliable source of meat, bones, leather, and animal fat. All very useful items. If you see a carcass on the road, harvest it with your axe. Once you get 5 bones, craft a bone knife. From now on, use this knife to harvest all meat. I would recommend taking the animal tracker perk from the perception tree. At level 1, it will show rabbits, chickens, and snakes 
on your map and compass while you crouch. It will also highlight them when you are close enough. Once you locate your prey, you can shoot them with arrows, which is a bit difficult because the more distance, the higher you need to aim. And little animals are small targets. But with practice, you can do it. Or you can sprint and hit them with a melee weapon. I find the wooden club well suited for this. Chickens are easier to kill than rabbits and will give you feathers and raw meat. Rabbits will give you leather and meat. Remember to harvest with your bone knife. Getting water. Well, it's time to do some looting. We are looking for glass jars, a cooking pot, and if we are lucky, a grill. These items are common on kitchens. Search the toilets for murky water. Sofas, mattresses, and curtains are good sources of cloth. Fill all your empty glass jars in a body of water. They will become murky water. Let's get cooking. Build your campfire, put some fuel. You can burn almost anything, but wood is very abundant. Place your cooking pot. Without any recipe or skill points, your options are limited. Boil your murky water to get boiled water. Drinking the water will give you an empty glass jar. And you can repeat the cycle. Use some of your bones and murky water to make glue. You cannot recover the glass jar this way. You can make char meat that will lower your hunger, but increase your thirst. If you put one point in MasterChef from the strength skill tree, you can make bacon and eggs. If you have a grill, you can make grill meat that are far better. Also, you could make coffee, red tea and golden rot tea. Red tea in particular is good because it will lower the rate at which you get thirsty and hungry. Plus, it uses chrysanthemum that is very common in the forest. Stone Age weapons. Let's talk a little about combat. From your available weapons, the spear has the longest reach. With a secondary attack, you can throw it. And you can get your spear back. It will appear on the compass. The club, it's a well-rounded weapon with some stopping power. The sledgehammer deals the most damage, but costs more stamina and it is slower. When attacking with any weapon, aim for the head to maximize damage. The bow is silent, so you can take down zombies without alerting others. Crouch to make bonus damage from the sneak attack. Critical wounds and early medicine. The zombies will fight back and things can go wrong very fast in seven days to die. One bad hit can give you one of the following and the weaker you are, the more vulnerable. Infection. If you leave an infection untreated, it will progress over time and it will eventually kill you. Treat it early with antibiotics and look out for tree stumps. Harvesting them may give you a honey that can cure early infections. If you break a bone, you can use a splint to mitigate damage and heal it faster. You need duct tape, cloth and wood to craft one. Duct tape is made with cloth and glue. If you have some cloth fragments in your inventory, you can make simple bandages that will stop bleeding. 
A contortion will lower all your abilities by one. Take painkillers to cure it. That will be all. I hope you find these guys useful and thanks for watching.